What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, thanks for tuning in to yet another video. And if you're new here, please get down there and hit subscribe. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. So, do you guys catch that? I'm talking about the ad. So we are officially monetized here on YouTube. So I just wanted to give a major shout out and thank you to all of you guys for helping me get to this point. To celebrate that, what I did today was I actually ordered a wide body kit for the coupe. I got the AIT version because I wanted to uh, do the rivet on version in the back because like I said, it's gonna be a thrasher. If I crash it, I want to just be able to order a new set and throw it back on without having to do any body work. So that's what I got for it. You guys will see that kit in the videos here very soon. So stay tuned for that. But I know you guys know what this video is about, but before we get into that, this right here, not gonna cut it. Look at that, it's sagging. I hate it. That piece is actually just an eBay fender liner, which I absolutely hate. I got that like two, three years ago before I got the coupe. The coupe, now that it's going wide body, I'm not gonna be able to use the stock fender liners, I don't think at least. Even if I do, I don't care. But I can always get another one for it. For now, we're gonna fix the blue one with one out of the coupe. So these OEM ones bring like these little clips right here that hold on to the uh, fender itself, so it's not gonna be sagging anymore. So let's go ahead and throw that on. I also want to throw on the in fender coolant overflow tank since I'm gonna have the wheel off. I can just, you know, squeeze my hand in there without taking anything off and do that. And I also wanted to see if I can get this GD washer fluid bottle in there, but that's being a little ambitious. These come in the GD uh, 06 to 07. Subarus. I have a video on that. If you want to see how you can install that, I will put a link right up here so you can just click on that card. But for sure, I am going to do the Infender coolant tank right here. So we're going to do these things right now and then we will get on to the washer spray. So it looks like we have a 10 right there and one, two, no clip there, no clip there either, none, there's one back there. Dang, this thing really only has three clips and a 10. All right, so this should be easy. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off, replace it. I'm also gonna be putting in the one that goes in here so it'll be nice and protected right there. So it, it'll come down and then do like a 90 degree down in there and everything will be covered. Now that we have a clean and unobstructed view in there, we're gonna go ahead and take the battery out so we can get this Infender tank in there. I'm pretty sure I don't have to make this longer. I think it'll reach like on the coupe. So once we do that, we'll throw the other one on and we'll get on to the fun stuff. I got the in fender coolant tank in. It's completely installed. As you can see, you got brand new nuts on there. It was very hard to fish it through all this harness and this fender bracket right here, but we finally got it in. My advice to you is to just take everything off because it was getting very frustrated. If you have sort of like fresh paint like I have, you have to be very careful while you're doing it because I was like, I'm gonna end up scratching this car and I'm very impatient. So luckily I didn't hurt anything and I got it in, but if I had to do it again, if you check my last video, when I did it on the coupe, I took everything off and it was cake. So I would recommend doing that. Since I took the tank out from here, I have these two extra dress-up bolts. So I don't know where I'm gonna put these yet, but this hose was not long enough. It was barely in this tank. So it's definitely not gonna reach in there. So I have to go to the store and buy some. So 
I'm going to go ahead and install this real quick, throw this on, and then go to the store, get some hose, and then everything will be complete. So I may have found the problem as to why the other fender liner was sagging, but like I said, it didn't have these clips, so we're gonna throw this one on anyways. I think the problem is the cable for the hood latch is here and it should be like up there, but it's routed wrong. So it's pretty tight there, so I can't push it all the way up where I need it to be. So I'm gonna go to the store and get the hose that I need for the coolant and I will do this fender liner off camera after I'm done with this video because I think it's gonna take a while because I think I have to undo the whole front end and see how it's routed wrong because I know it's routed wrong and then fix it. So I don't wanna chase the cable while on camera and all that. So I'll do that after the fact, but I'm gonna go get this hose real quick, throw it on, fill it up with coolant, and then we'll get on to the washer nozzles. All right guys, so I went to the store and I found this hose. I bought four feet of it. It's a little thinner, but I think we can get it done so let's go ahead and throw it on oh yeah it's a tight fit but better than being loose so i think it went down through here i honestly don't know how it went but it can just chill there anyway so we're just gonna cut it right there put it on get some new hose clamps on from here and we will be back in business. So while I was at the store, I picked up a Red Bull because I got my new Brewmate uh, Slim Can Cooler. The owner of Brewmate, he's actually a huge car guy. He has like a 2,000 horsepower. He has like, he has a couple of cars. He has one that's like 2,000 wheel horsepower, another that's like well over 1,000 wheel horsepower. But check it out. Brewmate is actually really nice. Look, check this out. So you unscrew this, which I can't do. All right. Take two. <laughs> so you unscrew this like that. You throw your can in there like that. And then you just screw this back on and you're good to go. So you screw this, boom. And the cool thing about this is that it fits in a normal cup holder in a car and it has two flat spots right here. So you can grip it nice and firmly and then just chug away. All right, got the hose fitted. So I found out this is where it goes. New clamp, got it all topped off and we're ready to go. So let's get on with the experiment. All right guys, so as you can see, I'm changed because it is now the next day. When something bugs me, it bugs the crap out of me. And I know I said I was gonna fix the car after we did the washer sprayers, but last night it just bugged me too much so I got it done. So I got the fender liner on and then I also rerouted the hood latch cable. So now it's tucked away where it should be. And it's also a lot easier to pull. Back then it would like crunch when you would pull it because it had so much tension on it. But now we got it all taken care of and we're good to go. We got the cable tucked under here. We got our new in-fender coolant tank. We got the battery put back. Everything is good to go. So there's not a whole lot of information about the sprayers online, but from the little bit of information, what I could gather was, they say early 2000s CRVs have very similar sprayers. So I got some of those, as you can see, and I also got some mid 2000 legacy sprayers, which seem to be very similar so they say both of these are good alternatives the ones on these cards shoot two streams out of each and i mean they suck you know and these are supposed to shoot more of like a mist i like that a lot better these two streams they don't cut it for me i hate it i'm glad i got these hopefully they fit we're gonna go ahead and take ours off of this and then test both of them out see which ones I like better. I got two, at least two sets of each because whichever one I like better, 
I'll put one set in this car and one set in the coupe. So just to show you guys how these spray, see two streams there, two baby streams there. This thing sucks. Hopefully these things are the correct size like I've seen people say. If they are, cool. If not, then we're stuck with these boys. All right, so I got them out as you can see. The best way that I found to do this is to take the hoses off of this little Y right here. That way you're not fighting with it inside there because it goes in pretty deep. And then after that, let me pull this one out. It's held in by these two push tabs. So what I did was I got this trim tool and then I would put it in there and push one tab up. And once I would push one tab up, I would push the hose with my fingers and then it would come up. And then once you have one side up, you can literally wiggle it off. So I just wiggled it off and came right out. So I did that for both sides. You have to take it off of these two clips right there as well. And then let's go ahead and take this one off. There we go. So I did it this way because like I said, it's hard to get it off here, especially since it goes in like two inches inside the hood. So now I can just fight with it out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the hose off and then we're gonna compare the sizes on those and see if they fit. All right, boys. So this is what I have found so far. Here we have the CRV ones. You can see it only has one little tip. Size wise, it's just a little bit bigger than the normal one but that's totally fine as long as it fits. These are three extras that I got from the CRV platform. These are the ones from the Legacies. So you can see that it only has one hole right there as well. And size wise, just a little bit bigger as well. I think, let me see. They're about the same size, I guess. So. We're gonna test out the CRV ones first, then we're gonna do the legacy ones, and then we're gonna see which one is better. So let's go ahead and start by installing these CRV ones. Let's see if it just snaps right in. It's not fitting too good. Come on. Hmm. Dang, can't get it to go in right. All right guys, so we're switching over to the legacy ones. Hopefully we have better luck with this one. Ooh. Oh, it went in. Okay, sweet. So let me switch the other one over. Okay, that one snapped right in as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook these Hoses up and then we will get spraying. So they are both on, so let's go ahead and test them out real quick. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a nice mist. I like that a lot better. It comes all the way up here, look. And then this side goes very high up. I like that though, that's really nice. This thing sprays like all the way up here, it's funny, but I like these things a lot better. Like it literally shoots like a mist, like it's like a spray, not like two streams here, two streams there. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on the coupe now that I know that these work a lot better. The CRV ones, I mean, I don't know what the heck happened there, but they don't fit. They are a lot thicker than these, let me see if I can show you guys. Here we go. So you can tell that, eh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess th these are thicker than the inner ones. So gonna go ahead and throw this set on the coupe. And then these stock ones are just, I guess, trash. I don't like that. So there you have it, guys. If you wanna do this mod, go with the, I think I got these off of like a 2006 or 2007, or both of them, I guess. They were like 2006 and 2007 legacies. So if you want to do this mod to your car, make sure you get them off of those models. Don't go for the CRV ones because clearly they don't work. I know people overseas 
do like the Citroen brand ones. I don't know if I butchered that, but we don't have that here. So we're stuck with these legacy ones. But like I said, I really like them and I'm sure you guys would appreciate the nice mist that it throws out instead of two ugly streams. And I don't wanna sound like I'm saying that I do it because I don't like the way it looks, but the efficiency of it, like the spray or mist style one is way more efficient than two streams. So that's why I'm doing this mod. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and go out and get yourself some sprayers for your cars. But that's gonna do it for this one. So make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. But let me get off your screen. So as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.